What's up everybody, JMac here with Excalibur Gaming and today we're going to go through the power grind and how to how to power grind and power up as efficiently as possible. Uh, let's get straight into it. First thing you want to do is complete the story on your character uh, and you're going to do it on all three characters. So complete all of the story missions and the season of the hunt start at least start that on all three characters if you're doing all three characters if you're just doing one that's all good we're still this is still going to apply to you so just do the story mission and start the season of the hunt and get all that rolling just a quick reminder soft power cap is 1200 powerful cap is up to 1250 and the pinnacle cap for the season is 1260. so the first goal is definitely get to the soft cap we don't want to do any powerful drops or pinnacle drops anywhere that you see them on the map. Uh, try to avoid them and just get to the soft cap. You should be able to get to the soft cap pretty easily through your storyline uh, and doing the season of the hunt. Go do public events until you get all your gear pieces and everything up to 1200. That's where I would definitely start. Once you're at the soft cap, 1200 then you want to start your powerful drops whether you're doing single character or you're going to do it across all three once you get through that storyline and that soft cap then you can start taking advantage of those powerful drops i would not do them before because you're kind of missing out on big power gains uh you could go to europa and do the eight bounties for Varix. once you get through the storyline there'll, there'll be a couple hunts you can do as well for powerful drops and you can see the exo stranger for powerful tier one if you do stasis kills and then i would recommend something like go see banshee pick up banshees eight there get those done you can do those even while you do the the europa bounties kind of do them passively or while you're doing other things then move on to say crucible pick up shax's bounties and when you're doing Shax's bounties, I like to go back in uh, to survival because survival is also a powerful gear drop. So you kind of do in double duty there, getting some of the crucible bounties done, and then you get these powerful uh, drops here done during survival. Double dip in there, and you can do the same thing with Vanguard. So then pick up the eight bounties from Zavala, do those while you do your ordeal runs if you do 1180 three times you can really focus on getting those bounties done and make sure you're getting those powerful drops before you go into the pinnacle also when you're progressing through the seasonal content with the crow you can do the wraithborn hunts and get four drops doing those as well The last one I suggest you do when you're going for the powerfuls is do the gambit last. I say this because it's only three matches for the pinnacle gear, but you do have to do eight bounties to get that done. And it's pretty difficult to do the three games. And sometimes you're just gonna get that pinnacle done before you get the bounties. No big deal, it's just one drop. It's not gonna kill you. And the last powerful reward you want to pick up is going to be your clan reward here. It's just your clan XP that you put in. You do not want to grab the Gambit clan reward or the Crucible clan reward or the Nightfall clan reward. Those you want to save until your absolutely end of the week or you're done doing your power grind on all the characters. Once your powerfuls are done on your character, whether you do all three or not, then it's time to move on to your pinnacles. The pinnacles are going to include doing your three gambit matches, your three crucible controls or clash, and then the three playlist strikes. And if you can get a group to do 100k, that's another pinnacle. It's a bonus there. Also, with the Wraithborn hunts and the new season content through the crow, if you do five hunts, you'll be able to get a pinnacle drop there as well. So don't pass that one up. Whew, that's a lot to take in. I know it's a lot to kind of process and go through all the power stuff. Uh, 
this is the best way I came up with to do it all. I do have a little bonus tip and trick for you though. If you save your season pass armor to fill in the gaps and bring up the lowest piece before you go do a powerful or pinnacle, an example would be I'm stuck at 1210, showing 1210 base. I need to bring up my legs because my legs are two points lower than everything. You just go to your season pass, collect those legs. It'll bring you up to what your base is saying. Then you do the next powerful or pinnacle drop and you'll get a bigger bonus drop from that. It doesn't always happen, but it does also help protect you from RNG from getting duplicates. Just a little tip there. And the last tip is if you go into Crucible Survival and continue to play, you'll get rank up packages that will be powerful drops as well. You can do this in Gambit, but survival kind of double dips between both ranks and you'll continue ranking up the competitive rank and the casual rank and it'll keep getting drops. Just another way to continue powering up if you so choose. And that's it. That's all I have on the, the power. Uh, just a quick recap. Do the story missions, get yourself the soft cap, do all your powerfuls you possibly can first across the whole solar system, and then go into your pinnacles. If you're gonna do that, if you're gonna do two or three characters, make sure you do powerfuls across them first, and then go back and do the pinnacles if you want your most efficient progress. Other than that, I appreciate you guys. Please like, share, subscribe. See you guys on the next one.